Okay, this is a bit of a new video for a long time. I uh, haven't done a lot on YouTube. I've been sort of busy and there's no intro and outro, so I do apologise for that. Uh, not like my usual video, so I haven't got the editing equipment at the moment to do stuff. Um, and things have been a bit crazy over the uh, last few months. Um, but yep, still on YouTube, still mucking around doing stuff. So... This video, I'm going to talk about torches. I mean, if you work in the dark, do anything in the dark, whether it's work, fishing, uh, hunting, gathering, whatever, um, just wandering around, you're going to use a torch. And here's a few torches that I have. Simple torch, you know, got uh, batteries inside and press the button and woo, it's bright, woohoo. Okay, now, the latest thinking is, with uh, torches, uh, you know, what or whatever that you use them for hunting camping uh little lanterns head torches bicycle lights you name it um basic thinking is i mean bicycle to torches are different you need a white light at the front red light at the back um the the, ov the obvious thing with um torches the, the latest thing is if you use a white light your eyes will suddenly have to adjust to that bright light and then when you switch them off Oh no, I'm going to have to readjust. So the latest thinking is, like with this torch, is to have a red light. So the idea is, if I just uh, switch it on, red light, you can use that to do whatever you need to do. Switch it off and your eyes don't take long to adjust. So you think, okay, go on the internet, find a red torch. And uh, you think, well, there's, you know, not the kind of style red torch you got. What, what about the ones that I've already got? I can use them. So you think, well, DIY method. So I've seen a few uh, DIY methods on YouTube. Now one, what some people do is they uh, will get a torch. <clears throat> so for, let's, let's get this one. Okay, we'll get this one. When we'll take it apart and we'll switch the LED out. So you get a red LED and you take the torch to bits and uh, well, you can't find the right LED, and this is not the right LED for that. And taking a thing to bits, especially if it's an expensive torch, it's the last thing you want to do. And you won't be able to put it back together again and get it fixed. So, you know, playing around with soldering irons and all that caper, uh, that's a no. So you filters on the end of the torch, like with this one, this one, you obviously see it's got a red filter. That's the way to go. So one option is you go to Quality Streets wrapper or a Valentine's gift um, and you use that. And what then people do is they'll stick that over a torch and then they'll get a something like a hairband, a rubber band, and they'll do something like this, which is, yeah, it works, does the job. But let's face it, guys, to be honest, it's naff. I mean, you were to actually take that out into the wild and, you know, it's going to, things are going to start rubbing around and ah, no longer work. So I had to think, well, maybe there's some option. Maybe uh, make some filter, try it online, see if you can buy some universal filters. Mm, they're about, but mm, not brilliant. But what I discovered was, and this is an idea I came up with, and I think somebody else thought of this before, to get some of this stuff, I went to Halfords and bought this, which is lens. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Uh, lens repair tape, which is used for the back of a car, and they obviously do white, clear, shall we say? They do amber and they do red. So buy some of that. Quite a simple thing to do. I've I've done it already with this torch. No, this torch I didn't buy. What you do, quite simple, as you can see, I've already done it. You stick that on, say, a chopping board. <clears throat> you stick the torch on it. And you get your blade like this. Carefully cut all the way around it. I did find uh, it didn't go all the way through. Probably it's not sharp enough. Get scissors. It was already marked. Cut it out. Once you've uh, cut it out, you clean your end of your lens with a bit of an alcohol rub or something, dry it off with a, uh, I'll use a paper towel, cut it out, stick it on. Once you've done that, 
trim off any excess and then you're good to go okay so that cost me three pound ten pence from Halford. i've seen it on stuff on amazon for about less than a couple of pounds if i find some i might might stick in a link but uh yeah that's how you once you've got that stuff you can convert well any torch headlamp you've got mountain um yeah so uh quick tip for you uh till the next log i'll try and do a better video with an intro and outro thanks guys